Again, want to welcome you to the Last Chance Mass. I hope you had a, a great Thanksgiving break. Um, tonight, there's something special going on. Uh, and to kind of describe this, I'm going to go into something that I encountered when I was home. I was checking the news, and something that stuck out to me big time said, Mass Violence on Black Friday. And I checked out the story, and evidently a woman outside of L.A., on her way to securing an Xbox 360 at a reduced price, sprayed 20 people with pepper spray in the eyes. And yet, I was kind of surprised something similar didn't happen this evening here at this mass. Now, why is that, okay? Tonight is the culmination of 40 years of work and of deliberation and consideration Tonight, we are implementing the third edition of the Roman Missal. Now I know, I can read all of your minds. This is extremely anticlimactic. But, and only a little bit of time, I want to first tell you what it's not. Second, how we got here. And third, uh, why you should care. Okay? First, what it's not. And I say this just because I've been watching the headlines the last, last couple weeks, and specifically this weekend, and it's continually just falsely reported what's actually going on in our church. Uh, first, what has changed is the red book that we've always had. So all the prayers the priest prays at the beginning of Mass for the Eucharistic prayer uh, and at the end of Mass, and our responses to them are different. We have a new red book, okay? So that does not mean that our, 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 our Mass readings are, are translated any differently. Second, this is not a return to a, pre, like a, a pre-Vatican II style Mass at all. It's not that. Third, um, it is, it is not just a simple mandate requested by some old crusty celibate men wearing funny hats in Rome, but actually it's kind of been a grassroots effort uh, to get us what we have, have today. Okay, so why, why you should, or how did we get here first off? First, we believe that the essential words of the mass were given to us by Jesus Christ on Holy Thursday at the Last Supper. And those words remain the same throughout all the liturgies, though they were celebrated in different ways. And we can see this in the writings of some saints, such as Justin Martyr, Ignatius of Antioch. But in the 16th century, in the year 1570, at the Council of Trent, the church decided, as the universal language of the Western world was Latin, to implement it Latin as the universal language of the church, so all of our prayers could be the same. And this remained untouched for 400 years. So likely the mass of your, your grandparents, maybe even your parents, was celebrated in Latin. Now this brings us to the Second Vatican Council of 1965-ish. Uh, uh, at that time, now, now this whole council, I'm sure as you know, from your beloved Theo 101 classes uh, that you enjoyed so much, was really geared towards us as the laity. It helped us to really discover what is our role in the church. How do we fulfill our mission? The Mass could no longer be viewed as simply the work of the priest up front, but rather we were supposed to act actively participate in it. So what does that mean? We bring to Mass our joys, our sufferings, our triumphs, our defeats, our work, our leisure, and we sanctify the world insofar as we offer it to God with his Son on the altar. Now this also takes the form of standing, sitting, Kneeling, chanting, singing, and all in the vernacular in English. And so thus, after the council, there was a huge rush to get out these languages. And at that time, it was said, you know, in the future, we're going to need a little bit more deliberation on the exact translation. But this is good for now. So why should you care about any of this? One, I, I don't want any one of you to look like a fool in front of everybody else here when you say the wrong, wrong words. Now, I know that in the past, when I have invited my friends to Mass, the first thing they say to me afterwards is, man, it's impressive. All of you know all the words, when to say them, what to, what to say, and they're all in rhythm. And it is impressive. I mean, it's been ingrained in us since we were born, pretty much. But those words are altered now. And so I really want to avoid, for all of you, any sort of Brian Regan-like moments when, as you know, the new translation is actually, so the Lord be with you, it's now and with your spirit. Again, to avoid Brian Regan, I don't want to hear, Lord be with you and you too. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. 
for all of you. I don't want you to have to suffer that. Secondly, why you should care. Now, the 40 years that we had this old missile, uh, this, this, uh, this first, the second translation actually, was a transitional translation, and that was 40 years. It's likely that this will last well into the time of our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. It's here to stay. And third, and most importantly, we, be, we believe as a church in something, in a, in a Latin phrase sa- that says, lex orandi, lex credendi, lex vivendi. The law of prayer shapes the law of belief, which shapes the law of how we live. So what we pray very much changes how we live our lives. And so it's easy to say, why do all these words matter? What's the big deal about this? Uh, and as Catholics, we, f- we, we firmly believe, and this is why it's so important that we address God in a suitable manner, because this in turn changes how we live our lives daily. Now, throughout the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to be going through some of these individual changes that will definitely seem somewhat strange, somewhat maybe too formal. And we're going to be going through uh, and really allowing us to re-enter into the Mass. Like I said last week, it's so easy for it to become just so routine, rote, and we forget what the spiritual dimension is behind it all. But this really gives us a, an opportunity to delve into that. And so at this time, I would ask that you prepare your hearts in silence as we await Mass with Father Becker, who is back from Rome. Thank you.